What units are worth it from the June medal exchange in One Piece Treasure Cruise? Let's take a look. For 100 medals we have Smaller Rebecca and Kobe, they are just here for collection purposes, you are never going to use them in a quest, so not really worth your medals. For 150 medals we have Legend Tesoro and V1 Aokiji. Two legends that are not really worth your medals, maybe with level limit break down the line, but at the moment you do not absolutely need them for that either. Tesoro is technically the unit with the better special, he does provide matching slots for bottom and top rows and also gives you a chain lock at 3.25 times, a pretty respectable one, but with all of the chain boosting and even chain boundary specials now in One Piece Treasure Cruise, I think Tesoro has lost a lot of value. That does not make him unusable, but for 150 medals it is probably better for you to just save even if you miss him especially if you have other chain boosting or chain manipulating units. For 250 medals we have Inuarashi and Nekomamushi, a dual unit, a pretty old one and I would say kind of outdated based on the amount of boosting you get from them, but they are still usable simply because 1. they are a dual unit so you can get them in two colors, but 2. they give a color affinity along with an attack boost in the first turn you activate them and then if you hit a specific amount of perfects, you get an ore boost in the next stage. This is still pretty decent, because it can help you with special restrictions or even ore boosting interruptions. They are focused around striker and cerebral units and they definitely do not have the best swap, even though they do provide slight utility. They are definitely usable, but I am not certain we are looking at a unit that is worth 250 medals, especially with all of the other units you can save up to get in the future. One unit you can definitely spend your medals on, Sobomask. I think Sobomask is an exceptional unit, he can provide a very good attack boost, he can manipulate slots, he can make them TND and now with the super tandem mechanics available, Sobomask might be even better. Or if he is not immediately better now, he definitely has a lot of future potential. Even without the super tandem mechanic and even though he does not provide much utility out of the slot manipulation, Sobomask is such a strong unit because of his sailor ability that allows him to regain his special, so you can use him in multiple stages or even in one stage for the highest possible attack boost. But on top of all that, he is a Sanji unit which means he can be attached with great supports. He can of course also allow other characters to gain access to their super type or super class abilities. Is he a must have unit? Probably not, but still a great option to have in your box to use whenever you need. For 400 medals we have 4 units and we are going to begin from the right one, Sugar. In my opinion Sugar is a great unit, she is definitely worth the medals if you miss her and have many other great units. She is just so unique that we are most likely never going to see another unit that does what Sugar does. She can make your units toy bears, they can attack automatically, they can penetrate barriers, they can ignore some debuffs and this is just incredible. You also get a chain boost if you have a toy bear chain, she does so many things and she is definitely not a unit that you can say, oh, you know what, for Sugar there is one replacement, there is no such unit, you need to find another way to work around her if you need to replace her. She is also a Q super type unit and Q is not one of the best colors and as a captain she can even provide a global 2.25 times ore boost with her super type. I love this unit, I have used her a lot and I think she is just great so definitely worth the medals in my opinion. Next up we have Germa 66, they also have a super evolution and after said super evolution they definitely became better. I think they are also a unique unit, they can become your captain in the middle of the quest for 3 turns, countering the enemy, changing your captains if they are about to do so and that can carry over through stages of course and if they become captains in the middle of the quest they do rainbow damage meaning even if the enemy is not in, they will have color advantage, which can actually be pretty big. They can do lots of damage on their own if the other units on the team can actually give them boosting, but the bad thing with Zerma is that they mainly boost Psy units. The ore boost they provide is only for Psy units, 
The main attack boosting multiplier, the highest one in their captain ability is for Psy units and even their super typing is for Psy units. And that makes them directly comparable with other Psy units or legends and we have tons of great ones in the game. They still of course provide great boosting and slot manipulation but the niche effect where they become captains and they have rainbow damage won't help you as often as you might think and they are definitely not as unique slash helpful to reach the sugar level. Still a good unit, but I am not certain if they are worth 400 medals. Moving on to V2 Magellan, we have a Q super type unit that has double special activation, which I think makes him the only legend in the game that does so as a limit break ability. And then he can remove 10 turns of paralysis with his captain ability. This is all great, but at the same time Magellan provides color affinity and the conditional attack boost that cannot guaranteed go through immunity. This is of course not the best thing because it makes his special not the best one and in my opinion he is not used as often and he is not that impactful that you can justify spending 400 medals for him. He is not a bad unit, he can definitely be helpful mainly in mono Q teams though but I do not really think he is worth the price he is labeled with here. Finally, for 400 medals we have Ulti and Page 1, another very unique unit in this tier. Ulti and Page 1 are great because with their swap they can provide chain boundaries, a very useful boost lately, and on top of that they have a very unique conditional attack boost that only they in the game can provide if you have a powerhouse or driven captain. The conditional attack boost is also at 2.25 times, one of the highest in the game, and there is no specific immunity block in it. You always need to have in mind that you need to fight an enemy with over 10 million HP in order to achieve this conditional attack boost and activate it on top of the captain requirement, but again, that is not very hard to do because in quests you are going to consider using ulti and page 1, the enemy of course will have a lot of HP. Some drawbacks for ulti page 1, they do not offer much else other than the things I mentioned. Yes, they do have some slight orb manipulation, but it does not go through block slots, it does not make them matching, and that can be pretty annoying if the enemy does give you block slots, and then you need another unit to remove them before ulti page 1 makes them matching. And of course, at that point, if another unit removes block slots, it is highly likely they do make the matching before page 1 and ulti provide their own slot manipulation. Of course your team building with them is limited because your captain needs to be powerhouse or driven. If it is not a captain of those two classes then you do not get the conditional attack boost, the thing that to begin with makes them unique. Definitely not a unit you can just throw in all of your teams. Because yes, while their swap and chain boundaries will still help you, you do not get much else out of them. Still a great option to have as a conditional attack booster in Superboss Kizuna though. And these are all of the units and my thoughts on them in the June medal exchange in One Piece Treasure Cruise. If you have any comments to add, of course, tell me in the comments below. I would be happy to help you if you also have any questions. And tell me if you agree with me or disagree in specific comments about specific units. As I always say, if you are not certain about getting a unit, wait until the last days of the month and then decide because we are going to learn the July medal exchange before this one leaves and you never know, you might have a unit there that you want more than all of these units listed here combined so it is always better to wait. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more One Piece Treasure Cruise content in the future definitely leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.